sugar cookies galore. I like those red ones. I oh. think that's a really good value there. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I love that. There we go. Wow, it's busy. Orlando vlog we are heading down to a different Walmart this morning because a uh, less touristy one yeah a less touristy one if you saw the last vlog the last few vlogs that we've been into uh, Walmart on old Lake Wilson Road. old Lake Wilson Road it's absolutely heaving and it doesn't look like holiday makers either it's just like, like local people it's like ridiculous so can I just point out while we're here mm -hmm. this um, motel here Cerro Largo yeah is the cheapest motel on the 192 in yeah. terms of bookings.com okay. you get shocking reviews but if you just want it for like a one nighter and you can kind of read <laughs> on the reviews it just looks like a motel it just looks yeah. no different to the red line did i was just going to say when we stayed in the red line in 20, uh, 2019 march when we drank the world and stuff like that the Red Lion got absolutely shocking reviews. Two star. And we booked that through Virgin and we almost cancelled it because of the bad reviews. And we got there and we spent three weeks there and we absolutely loved it. It was Nothing clean as it. anything. Um, they, it was cleaned every day. Um, the bed sheets were clean. We had two big beds, very comfortable beds. Um, you can't stay in the Red Lion, unfortunately, now because it's been uh, turned into like little apartments. But it just goes to show that you can't always trust TripAdvisor reviews. Um, Maybe sometimes you can, I don't know. Um, so, we are heading down to the... Uh, yeah, we trust it when it's a five star, but not when it's no. a two. We're heading down to a different Walmart now, because we've just got a few things to pick up. Um, hopefully, this one won't be as uh, busy. And there's a motel down here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where it is. It's called, we think it's called the Magic Castle Inn. Yeah, somewhere there. It's Ooh, there. And there, just while we're going... Um, there, that hotel there, that oh, yeah. motel. Well, it's straight in front of the helicopters where we went with Sazzle once. Yeah. A long, long time ago. Uh, so the hotel there is featured in a film called The Florida Project. I think it's that one. If not, it's, it's next Similar door to here. it, but... So if you want to see a film that was actually filmed around Kissimmee, um, check out that film. I'm not sure where it's streaming, but it's streaming somewhere, I think. So we've come down to our Old Faithful. This is our first Walmart we ever went in, and we it's lost, a huge one. We lost our Walmart virginity here. Yeah. Um, so... I can already tell by the car park it is very busy, but I don't think it'll be as rammed as the uh, smaller one. It's not your typical tourist one, even though we were tourists when we first came here. Ah, this one is so much quieter. With weird. I remember when we first came years ago, we used to have a lobster tank over there where the seafood section is. Yeah. You can go pick your lobster with elastic bands around its feet. We're going to have a proper mooch around this one. Like what? They're, they're smaller and denser and quite a lot heavier. Walmart's own version of the Hawaiian rolls. They're just not the same. Yeah, but they're quite thick. They're, yeah, but they're quite heavy. That, that means they're doughy. Only $2.64 or $3.20. I don't know what the difference is. Just two. Sugar cookies galore. I like those red ones. What's these you're looking at? Oh, I'm never a fan Ooh, of um, Rice Krispie um, Can I remember the kid things. used to make them with toffos and no, marshmallows? In no. You never made them? No. That's probably why you don't like them. Made cornflake buns, but never uh, Rice Krispie, Cheese whatever you call them. I've shown these before, but I'll just show you them again as I saw them. If your kids love the Disney Mickey uh, Mouse bars, which are about 6 or $7 now in Disney. For one. Come to Walmart if you've got a freeze, you can get six bars for $7.44. You just have to give them it before you leave. Yeah. Half and half for our coffees. Ooh, what's these? What? <laughs> oh, we got them in um, Animal Kingdom Lodge one time. Can you remember? Yeah, I do actually they were like remember, yeah. High. Ooh, those chocolate ones look nice though. Oh, How dark that chocolate is. Oh no, not my favourite. Look at them, they're like Viennese whirls. One side's of a Viennese whirl. Petite butter cakes. Which bread are you getting? It's too much choice. Raisin cinnamon. French toast. That smells like curry when you when you microwave it, actually. Whole um, wheat. That's sugar. a little bit better for you. Oh, and it looks boring. Kind of. Cinnamon. I'll just get the raisin cinnamon. So if you come to Walmart, this is your choice of bread. Starts there, 
It goes all the way down to the end, and then they've also got the fresh bread section as well. In the bakery. Look at this one. If you get this bread, you get um, mussels like that. Yeah, right. Blueberry. Blueberry, blueberry muffins. muffins. Uh, no, blueberry bagels. Cinnamon bagels. Oh, no. So right. much choice. When we get the villa, we're just going to We're going to have a full shot. Just to show you some of the mugs that they've got in Walmart, just in case uh, you fancy some mugs but don't want to pay Disney prices. So, uh, got some uh, big like Iron Man ones, nine dollars. Color change in uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, eight dollars. Batman, Star Wars, Minecraft, Baby Groot, uh, not Baby Groot, <laughs> Baby Yoda, Harry Potter. Uh, so they've got quite a uh, selection here, more Harry Potters, a few Mickey and Minis, they're only $3.96 then for the Harry Potters, let's have a look at them. Not that bad. Mickey fueling his um, scent obsession. There's one for me here. Hello gorgeous. Huh? Hello gorgeous, the made one for me. Let's have a little um, smell of it. Uh, I can't open it. Before. I'm sure it smells gorgeous. Honeysuckle pineapple. Stacy had one the other day, but just open that for me. I want to. Try, I want to smell that. What's going to smell of pineapple? Do we know? It's not nice. That's not pineapple at all. Mm, kind of, a little bit. Nah. Right. Next thing is our sun cream that we like when we get here. Um, it's not too shiny, and it's only thirteen dollars ninety-seven for two uh, bottles, and it's fifty plus. Right. Six. We're just getting our um, pond shells. They're in sporting goods, yeah. however, the last ones are now near the tills, yeah. but these are different. Seems to be all over the place in every different um, Walmart. It's quite good if you've got like um, enough room in your bag, just like a, a rain jacket. Yeah, you don't want to be carrying weight though no, around the packs. No, no. So we've got six of them for when the oldest come. Let's have a quick look at some of these. They're only a dollar and all. Oh no, it just says, it actually don't give you a price. I don't a dollar. Oh no, they're $6.24. They're too big though. And there's like a little um, lightweight poncho that goes in a, a, a case, but again, it's it's just adding more things to your bag. Right, Look at good. these. They're not too bad for your bag, but we're just going to go with the emergency ones. Right, that's our shopping done. That was a much more relaxed experience at that uh, Walmart. We are heading now, just eight minutes away, to Hollywood Studios. Um, see if we can get on a couple of rides, get a couple of snacks. We may even have a, uh, a meal somewhere new. Uh, where we haven't uh, done it before and then we may either go to Disney Springs because um, we've not been to Wine Bar Georgia and I really want to go there or we might head to Universal, not sure yet. Maybe we'll do both. Maybe we'll do both, right yes. We'll see what, um, what we feel like once we've been to Hollywood Studios. Here we are. Hi Minnie. Hi Mickey. Let's have a look at the temperature today for a day in um, Universal Studios. It is quite late because we've had Use Hollywood the right Studios. Lane to Hollywood stay Studios, on West sorry. Osceola Parkway, um, then take the exit towards Disney's Hollywood Studios. It is Studios. 1 p.m. I've been doing a lot of editing this morning, catching up. Um, so we're just going to take, take the day the as it comes. Disney's Hollywood Studios. Just spotted this as I was coming into Hollywood Studios. A braille map of Hollywood Studios. It tells you like where all the uh, restrooms are. Where's the tactiles on it? Oh, under, oh, the, there, yeah. under the title. So yeah. under where it says Echo Lake, you can see it, and then the individual rides. Yeah. Just in case you needed one of those. It's just at the side of um, guest relations as you just come in left. Right, while Lee's at the toilet, um, I just popped into a shop just to cool down, really. And they've currently got the 100th um, Magic Bands. They're just normal Magic Bands. They're not the... Um, oh, no, they are Magic Band Pluses, actually. So they are priced on the slate colour and slate is $44.99 and then you've got your standard ones that's what we had we actually returned it because we were having so many issues with it um, and then you've got your others I don't actually see any normal magic bands anymore it's all magic band plus Disney is still biased only supporting iPhones they don't have any Samsung's in here not that I've seen um, all the iPhone models they must have some kind of contract with Apple to get that there we go. Not a single Samsung compatible case in sight. Little patchwork um, stitch badge thing for um, sewing onto your coat. And then you've also got other little emblems, little sort of Mickey heart and then Lion King there. So that one is $9.99. Zoom this one's the same. Yep, $9.99. And then you've got this one, 
which is bound to be more, oh no, 9.99, so same price. Right, we just made our way into Starbucks because we're both a little bit um, in need of a drink. We're just going to get an iced coffee and one of those massive carrot cake whoopie pies. Whoopie pie? Oh, it's a Disney Munchling. Ah, <laughs> oh, right, okay, I've seen the, uh, is that what the, uh, the dolls were? Yeah, so uh, we're going to try um, a Disney, mu Disney Munchling. Carrot cake. I prefer the, um, the milk chocolate cookie. No, I quite like the look of that one. Me too, actually. Pie. It looks very really moist. Yeah. Mm. If you like cold brews, those, those do look nice. Cinnamon caramel cream cold brew, an ice brown sugar oatmeal shake and espresso. And it's looking at Starbucks merch. I do like these ones, the uh, the glitter ones. They hurt your fingers, don't you think? A little bit, That's yeah. Fine. And a bit, a bit cumbersome to carry as well. That's the Hollywood studio uh, being their series. Tower of Terror, yeah. Are we changing them all again for under? Right, we're just at the side of Hollywood Tower Hotel, but it's down there. Uh, and we've come out of Starbucks and, oh, what you've got? Um, vanilla bean frappuccino. Oh, let me try that. It's like a crushed ice milkshake mm. without the cream. That is really good. It's delicious. So we just needed a little snack before lunch. So we're going to have this. I well, think that's a really good value, that. The, well, for Starbucks it is, it's massive. The Disney Munchling Carrot Cup. Cake Whoopi Cookie. Uh, whoopi Pie, sorry. Whoopi Pie, that's it. So God, easily enough to share. Even if you've got four people, you could share that. Oh my God. Mmm, it's so moist and gooey mm. and nice. That cream has got so much cinnamon in it. Mmm. Janet. As I've been editing... your mouth there. Uh, no. As I've been editing the vlogs, I've noticed we are eating a lot of food, but sometimes I'm trying to eat healthy when I come on holiday. Now I'm in Orlando, I've just thought, bugger it. We dieted for a reason, this is the reason, so I can just... Finally, it's only took you three weeks to realise that. Mm. Is it worth the brain freeze that you keep getting every two seconds? Nothing's worth brain freeze. Oh, it's like being kicked in balls if your balls were in your forehead. Speaking of doing nothing but eating, we managed to bag a um, reservation at the Sci-Fi Dining. Uh, we've never done it before. A couple of hours to wait though. Yeah. I'm not sure how it works to get the car in there, whether we'll just get a normal table or one of the cars. We'll see when we, we go in. We're just I think gonna. Aren't the cars like for four people? Well, so the twos are like sat in two. Maybe. We'll see when we've been in. We've never been in before. I always fancy trying it. It is your kind of typical American fried food, food but it's got some salads and stuff that we might try. Uh, we're just gonna go around yeah, to Muppets because we haven't done it yet. I 
some of its 3D is old now, but I still enjoy it. I think it's, it's really good. Bright, it's one of those bright screens again yeah. where the 3D looks fantastic they could compared just, to the newer rides. I'm sure they could film a new, a new updated one because I really like the Muppets. Yeah, they could easily do that. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do a risky thing now. It's 45 minutes to um, get onto Star Tours apparently, and we can check in for our well, our meal is in about 45 minutes. So fingers crossed the right times, uh, the wait times correct. Well, so no, we, we don't want it to be correct. We want it to be. Well, we want to get yeah. on sooner. If it's correct, we'll just make it. Yeah. So we're gonna go on Star Tours, and then fingers crossed, straight over to Sci-Fi Diner. Actually, it We've looks it. it looks very risky. It's all the way out here. It, you, usually, when they wait times on here and say one thing, they actually mean something else. But today, it looks like it might be accurate. Right. We'll hang it's around here. So we're having lunch there at the Sci-Fi Diner. Should we go and see if we can check in early? Yeah. Right. We can't check in yet. We're ten minutes early. So we're coming next door into the tap house. Looks uh, very much like the breweries we've been in, doesn't it? Never ever been in here before. So uh, if you fancy some beer or anything like that, this is the place to get it in Hollywood Studios. Wine on tap, cocktails, small plates as well you can get. California cheese caricature plate, spiced almonds. Oh, we're going to come here instead and just got all that. Well, at you don't have to book here. Yeah, cider on tap, beer on tap. Mm. I'm gonna get a. Uh, they've got some cloudy beers outside. I wonder if it's like a blue moony color. So there's the food that you can get. So there's the cheese and curacao board, pretzel, spiced almonds, pre-dinner drink for me. It's some kind of um, Bavarian um, wheat beer. I'll have a little sip. You will like it. Oh no, it's nasty. So this is called Baseline Tap House. Just right over from um, Muppets, right next to the Sci-Fi Diner. So you can literally see, like, the Muppets is just over there, and then uh, Sato's is just over there. So it's quite it's a busy each day in Hollywood Studios, but this place is pretty empty. So. Yeah, it just looks like all the breweries we've been and seen when we were sort of travelling across um, the US, like Dallas, um, Charleston, yeah. very similar, isn't it? Yeah. They're running a little bit late. We've got 10 minutes to wait for our um, salad. Well, yeah, we think we're going to get wings and salad. I am getting more pe peckish by the moment. Next scene, the whole menu on the table. Um, so one thing that I have not shared with you guys that I've been... When we, when we were on Travel Day, we talked about a uh, Revolut card and funding it using um, a curve card to get Virgin points. Now, if you do that, you do get charged by Virgin. They see it as a, as a financial transaction to therefore charge you a non-sterling transaction fee and a cash advance fee. However, um, if you recommend somebody through the Revolut app, I, I recommended Lee, as long as he orders, orders a physical card, because you, you can use it, I, am, I don't have a physical card, I'm just using contactless. So I did. So I've ordered him a physical card and then used his virtual card to make three transactions. Of virtual card on my phone. Yeah. You get it. As soon as you contactless. Sign up, you get a virtual card on you your can, phone. You can Ooh, use it straight away. Ooh. Just inherited a leaflet. Um, so if you do if you do that, order a physical card, sign up for one, and make three transactions of five pound. Once they've registered, you immediately get fifty pound deposited into the, the person who recommended you. I've just got fifty pound free this morning, so this meal basically is is going to be paid for this afternoon. Oh, I might get two salads then. Right, we're going in for our table. Yep. These used to actually be on Walt Disney's desk. Oh wow. Those used to be on Walt Disney's desk, she said. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I love that. Oh my god, it looks like you all get a, t a, a, a car. I love this already. Every seat's a car. Yeah, oh my god, I love it. <laughs> so glad we came here. Right, so as you can see, we've got a, a car. We were under the impression all these years that you, you had to be very lucky to get a car, or you had to like request one. There are some tables over there, um, but yes, we've just got that down. 99% of cars. Yeah. And so, there's like each car sits six people. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very small. Six, two, four, six, a yeah. table to ourselves. So yeah. if you've got like a family, I guess you get like a full car. Or two cars next to each other. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what film we're watching. I've not even looked yet some kind of very old-fashioned sci-fi black and white we've ordered a couple of appetizers and an entree to share <laughs> i love it i absolutely love it i didn't think i would love it i just thought it would be like it will be okay we'd be sat at some random normal table but this is i love it i love all the uh, a little speaker like as if you were in a proper drive-thru where did that come from well that always no there. it was always there there's um, one at each car oh yeah so we can hear the movie you can't turn the, the uh, volume up yeah. and down though so there's like uh 
it is theming absolutely. for the mountains and trees and stars and stuff. It's just missing a bit of theming on the roof. But I'm very impressed so far. We'll see what the food's not like. What I no. So I've just noticed if you are a big family, there's a big car there with seats like opposite oh, each other. Side, yeah. yeah, so yeah, I guess you can request that maybe. It still only fits the same amount as in this yeah. town though. But you're just facing each other yeah. rather than two, two and two. Yeah. So even the seats are like authentic seats as well. They're like seats from a real car. I mean, they are seats from a real car, aren't they? They are fixed to the floor. And then down here, where you eat, you've got like a light that goes across, and then, like Lee said, you've got a little bit of eating area. There's not, it's not massive, and then um, that's how close you are to sort of kind of like other people. But um, absolutely love it so far. Nick's gone um, healthy. <laughs> Let me have a try before you do. You can oh have all the cream. Goodness, it's, just, all, it's, it's just ice cream. cream. You can have all oh the cream on top. God. Is it malted? It's just ice cream. You want my cherry? That's not milkshake, that's just a massive good thing of ice cream. Good. Right, we've gone for chips and dip. I think it's some kind of artichoke dip. With cheese. Nice. Mm. Um, we've gone for the wings. I can't remember what sauce is on them wings, can you? Looks like barbecue, or smoked. And a citrus salad um, to share. <laughs> You're going to leave that now. But, well, Am I? What do you The only downside is the light is below the dish, yeah, so when I turn it. the light off, watch this. You can't actually see what you're eating. It's very dark, but Watch. it's always the case when you eat go. in a cinema. Yeah. It is like when we went to um, every morning, isn't it? Yeah. Well, the sauce on the wings is beautiful, and these chips are beautiful as well. We're not starting on the salad yet. Can't really see it. I know. How's the salad? Nice. I can't see what I'm eating. I think there's like pecans and cheese, maybe a tomato in there. Yeah. But it's nice. How's nice. On oh, the orange pieces are delicious. How's your milkshake doing? Half gone. My name is Miles. Right, we're done with our meal. Even though we are absolutely stuffed. Absolutely gotta say, I love this. I've gotta say, I was super, super impressed with that. I've seen photos and I've seen vlogs on it, but it wasn't like I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a little bit naff, to be fair. I thought there were gonna be three cars and mainly seats. Yeah, I thought we'd be cinema. just sat at a, a normal table looking at the cars, thinking I wish we were in one of them. So, I just the food that. was average. I really enjoyed the food. Yeah, but it was just your typical quick serve served on a plate. I really enjoyed it. I liked those dips and chips. That were really nice. The, the one wings. that you added on at the end. Yeah, the wings were lovely. The um, wings were nice. The salad were really nice as well. And, well, the ice cream was nice as well. Really I healthy. feel a bit sick now. We've had a right, we've had a three course meal. We've shared That's it That's you. We've ordering, shared no, it ordering spinach dip at the no last minute. No more food today. No more food today. Right, yeah. Right, so we're all going to go see Mickey and Minnie, but it's gone up to over an hour's wait. We're going to do Mickey and Minnie, we'll do the real one. We'll go and queue for runaway train, so let us uh, three course meal go down a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful. Be Bernard Matthews, beautiful. Beautiful. I do like that ride, Mickey and Minnie's. I just, I, I always say it every time I come off, and I've probably said it on every vlog that I've ever been on, I just wish they would like update like Small World with all those screens and projections. Or just replace it. And then I'd love Small World. They could do it, couldn't they, really? They could do it. I mean, a lot of, I think some of the, some of the other Disney parks, have, they've got more updated sets and Small things. Small World. But I, it is worth cream for his Mickey and Minnie. I really like that. And I've got to say, that food from Sci-Fi Diner has gone down a treat. I thought you were going to say you, you, you can snack on somewhere else. 
so I just feel right nice. You know when you have a meal? I and didn't you break just feel food. Oh, I just I thought did. it was very quick served, slapped on a plate. Oh, I thought it was really, really nice. It was all right, but let us said, know in the comments below if you've been to the sci fi diner what you think to the food. I thought it was all really lovely. I wouldn't and have been happy with it if, it, if we hadn't have got the. Um, the referral credit on the Revolut card. Well, yeah, it costs us $6. We forgot to say how much it was, so we had, I had a club soda, which were free. Um, Nick had a milkshake. milkshake. We had the chicken salad. We had two, two appetizers. appetizers. It was plenty enough for both of us. And it was $56 after discount. Yeah, which I don't think is bad at all for a Disney meal. At Plus all. tip on top, literally, the the um, the 50 quid converted to dollars was $62. That covered the whole thing. Maybe a couple of dollars more. Yeah. Another one of those things where we've been a million times and never noticed that they had a rotating globe on the top. Those uh, yeah. pink ones will go with your... No, 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 These no. pink ones will go with my top. No, there's green in that. You need that pink one. What a tit. There's something Put the other one on. The other ones are better. They match your, match your shirt. Well, I think they match the shirt. What would it take if I got them? For you to walk around Disney with them all day. You bloody well would. Well. You wouldn't even leave the shop in them. I wouldn't care at all. You're looking around now to make sure nobody sees you. <laughs> Simba hat. Quite like that. Twenty four ninety nine. Is that from Manchester Cats? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, somebody's just smashed something. Oopsies! It wasn't Nick. Thank goodness. Yeah. Thank God for that. <laughs> um, look at these. How much then? Twenty four ninety nine. It's got all the parts and the one, I presume that's the one from... Um, that's Epcot. No, no, no. Eh? That's Epcot. Well, that's Epcot as well. California Adventure. Oh, it's the, the wheel uh, at Pixar. California Adventure. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these. The hand soaps are a special price today, only $8. Oh. Let me just message Cheryl because she's um, messaged me and said, can we find one of these? One of our friends wants one like that, Chippendale one. There's no point in me getting one because I wouldn't... I mean, we've got enough. I know we've got enough, but salt I can't remember what the usual price is, but that's a good price today. Right, I think I'm going to get the girls this one. Kind of matches my uh, sister's bathroom colours. She's got like. Year, it'll be out date. Uh, no, it doesn't say 2023 on it. 2023? Yeah, that's on the package. It does. No. Let me just double check. It says Daisy on it. It doesn't really matter anyway. Well, not really. The other ones don't match my sister's The ones um, it still works bathroom. after 2023. Got the. Um, Christmas away. decorations. Away. Do we need one for this year? No, what about, oh, no we don't. Small world one. If you get any more, the Chuff and Trail fall do, over. Do, 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 do. Right, come on, look at these coffees. I've just been getting lost. I'm looking at the um, decorations for tree first. These are nice. That's a nice one, actually. I that, can already see weight. $19.99. They're a bit, I wish they were on a half price because they're a bit pricey, aren't they? That's a nice one. Very delicate though, I imagine. Yeah, well, that's the one that um, Greg and Jody bought us with the, kind it's very of, similar with the writing yeah. on. Somebody didn't pack it away properly. We, I think we managed to fix it. No, we didn't. That's a nice one too. Nice and glittery. Holiday cheer. How much is that one? $24.99. What? I do like that one though. Mickey coffee. Pumpkin spice. French vanilla. The thing is, when I'm in America, coffee tastes so much different. Yeah, because of the half and half. And it doesn't affect my stomach either. Mm -hmm. Like, I've been having coffee every day while I've been here, and it's been fine on my stomach. There's no price on them. Maybe I'll just take a few bags off. Oh, there's some more here. Morning, Morning roast. roast. Can you find the one we had today? <laughs> the whoopee cushion. No, not whoopee cushion. No. Um, what did they call it? Whoopee pie. Whoopee pie. Unless that's supposed to be it. No. I don't no think idea. they've got it. Cinnamon bun, that's only one I recognise. I quite like this, and I actually saw it on a vlog once post-it note holder and I always said I'd uh, treat myself to that but now I'm here I'm like well where would I put that I'm not sure but I do like it what are you going with a memo board memo board hundredth hundredth memo board yeah about these notebooks set of three journals Ooh, not you think you've got enough thirty dollars I love a journal even though I, I actually digit, digitally journal these days so I don't the thing mean is right you get them because they're clean and unwritten and as soon as you write them you don't want to use them anymore it's very windy at the moment now so we got those two um, hand soap dispensers, $8 each plus tax, minus annual discount, $13.64 for both of them. Which works out at £5.50 each. Which is the right bargain. Um, right, so we're out of the park. We're going to go onto the Skyliner because we haven't been on it yet. Um, head to Boardwalk. Head to Boardwalk maybe, just have a little mooch around Boardwalk. Have a coffee, maybe go into Yacht Club, look at peaches and cream. I'm just, I can't have any more food now. That's it for today.
Which one are we gonna get? Not name the one. film, Nick. Name the film. Um, Tarzan. Eh? I can't see. I, don't, I have no idea. I don't know what that is. What is myself? Is it Zoolander? I don't know. I've not seen that one. Zootopia. Yeah, I got it right. Thank you. Zootopia, Nick. I, I told you. I don't like wrapped ones. You can't see. Get ready. Here we go. Oh, can't see. Get ready. Oh, shaking a bit. <laughs> It seems a little bit slow, doesn't it? It's all faster when it comes in, really. Love right, we're going to go to Boardwalk, yeah? Yeah, I was just, we were just discussing more we love the skyline and just thought... You need to sit on that side, it's tilted. It is tilted a little bit, isn't it? Let me go over here. It's your hefty body after that big meal. There we go, it's balanced. Ah, there we go. Ah, put my feet up A now. lovely breeze coming through those windows. Even though it's not hot enough for breeze today. It's just perfect temperature today. Ah. Wow. When you're due? About three hours. <laughs> It's very Bloody windy. It's very windy, isn't it? It's rocking it's, about. It's but... cat, it, gowling, it's, it's howling and swaying. Nice, I like it. Apart from the fact that it just stopped for about five minutes and we were literally swinging about like a bloody Christmas bobble on a tree. It's these things that make it um, rock a little bit when you get to you, you can one just of the hear the sound. Get rid of our rock. There we go. Look how much they're swaying, the ones in, in up front. Not I know, I can bloody feel the one that's swearing that's swaying. It's proper swaying because of the wind. You can hear what it would, howling. What would you do if the one in front fell off now? Would you uh, freak and panic? I think so, yeah. Right, we've got off here to get onto this one that goes to Epcot. Just for any new people that are coming to Florida but don't want to do Disney, say if you're just doing Universal. I'm sure a lot of people know, but just for those that don't know, if you only want to do Universal, SeaWorld, stuff like that, you can still come around Disney resorts on the Disney Skyliner. It's free to get on for anyone. And the hotels. You go can around do. the hotels, get on the Skyliner, do a tour of the hotels, get off, get do some the bus, food, get some drinks, Disney Springs, on the monorail around Grand Floridian, you can go to come around for a little bit of the Polynesian, yeah, everything but theme parks is free, so it's worth, even if you don't have a ticket, just to come, have a nice day out in Disney resorts and the skyline. A lot of the hotels are themed anyway. You'll probably spend some money on the on the food and stuff like that, so Disney still like you to come anyway. Rock again. We've stopped. Right over the road. We're swinging. We're just parked over the road. Oh, we're moving again. What do, you do a, what do you do if you need a poo when you're on There's here? There's a pee bag somewhere if you get stuck. It's oh, the, em the emergency, the emergency kit. kit, yeah. Um, How does that work with the number two? It's just, well, I'm glad there's only you and me in the end, just in case we get stuck. Um, I've got stomach ache. Um, it's just a nice relaxing ride on the Skyliner. Oh, I can see the Epcot ball over there. Just over there. See if I can focus it in on the floor. There we go. And um, we're currently flying over Caribbean Beach, Riviera Resort, and then you have to change again now. Why don't we just stay on and it just rotates around? Oh my God! Look at that one. Did you see that one sway there? Really? Look at it. Like it's almost side on. Look how sideways that's 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 swinging. So this weather has actually just picked up, hasn't it? Yeah, it's just starting to get um, windy now. So we're not running to Epcot, we went in there yesterday, but we are going to go to Boardwalk. Tower of Terror. Where? Over there. Oh yeah, where we just left. Swan and Dolphin, there. What else can I see? I can see uh, Paris, Paris right over there. God, you can see the horizon like like a swaying ship. Oof, it's out. Oh, I don't like it. I can't push your windows. It's <laughs> giving it extra, like, as the windows are a push. Up. I wonder what wind speeds it has to be before it closes the skyliner. Oh my, we're, we're swinging, we're going to hit this post. Bloody hell. <laughs> I want to get off. We'll walk back. Jesus, I need to start in time for that. I hate it when, you, when it comes in and it literally it. like swings in. The camera just didn't start fast it's enough. It's like a ride all of itself. Do we, do we can stay on it, can't we? Stay on and we just go. So we've been on the Skyliner 20 minutes, which we don't mind because it's a lovely ride. 
But we've, there's the Hollywood Studios car park. It's like we're just coming one massive big loop. There's Tower of Terror, and uh, we're not at Epcot yet. So what we might do after we've been to Boardwalk is just walk back along the river. Probably be uh, quicker to get back to Hollywood Studios in the car. Ooh, Phantom Manor. Ooh, look at Sway now. Phantom Manor one. I would have got that as my um, Christmas bauble had it not been purple, because it is... I don't know why, but it's one of my favourite rides, Phantom Manor. Uh, not Phantom Manor. Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion. Phantom Manor's at Paris. <laughs> right, we're slowly coming to Epcot. Let's have a look at the queue for Ratatouille. It doesn't look too bad, actually. The last well, time we were here, um, well, the last time we went on Ratatouille, we, we started the queue there, can you remember? Yes. And we only just met our lunch date with Lisa and Aid at Space 220. I it well. <laughs> And it was a very cold day and all. Here we come into Boardwalk. I enjoyed that ride. That's better than the TTA for a relax, isn't it? Well, it was exactly relaxed that we're holding off for dear Much life. better than the move, people moving for a nice relax. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Small world, <right? laughs> Shit. <laughs> so just going back onto what Lee was saying earlier about resort hopping. Um, for those that don't know, if you come out the back of Epcot through the back entrance, there's actually two entrances to Epcot, um, through the International Gateway and then straight across over the bridge, on the right hand side is the Yacht Club, which is on my right hand side now. Or is this the Beach Club? Um, it's one or other, I'm not sure. Who knows? But they're both next to each other and you can go in the hotels and you can explore them. Um, we've actually stayed here. With Lisa and Aid last yeah. February. Yeah, and that was the day that we had to defrost the car, it was wasn't it? Very cold. Yeah. yeah, so Yacht Club and Beach Club, they're all on this area. There's like a pirate ship straight in front of me, there's a little beach. And if you go uh, back and it faces on boardwalk, and I think you can get pontoons from in here as well. It's on boardwalk, yeah. If you can, there's a little beach as well. In fact, I'm going to go sit on beach for a bit. Oh, why not? And then I'll say what I was going to say. Why not? So they've even got their own beach, probably why it's called Beach Club. What I was going to say about boardwalk is so this whole area is boardwalk. Let me just show you, just in case you're not familiar. So it goes all the way around there, um, restaurants, cafes, shops, well not many shops, it's more restaurants, there is a couple of shops I suppose. Can I just say? Um, the Swan and Dolphin over there, the Swan Reserve there, and what I was going to say is, if you go back to our Jan uh, sorry, March 2019 vlogs, when we were kind of, even though we'd been coming for years, um, we never really explore, explored the resorts and stuff. We never even knew we were here. No, we came back here onto Boardwalk and we were like... Is it new? Is this new? <laughs> it had been here like 20 years or something. But we'd never... We'd just done the... Going to um, Disney Parks at 9am in the morning, we, leaving when the fireworks were done at like 9pm, going back to Walmart and then going back to Villa, sleeping and then doing the same again. We'd For never explored days. all the Disney resorts and stuff. So it is an eye-opener if you've never done it before. Um, just exactly what you can explore outside the parks. You can come to Florida and not buy park tickets. Yeah. Well, my mum and dad's going to do it, so we'll see. Yep. You said, can I just say? You already said it. What? <laughs> you interrupted me. So, they're having a campfire soon, and there's smosh kits. Smosh smosh kits. Smosh. One packet of green crackers and two Percy's milk chocolate bars. I'm assuming that's for people who are stopping at the, either of the Yeah, I would imagine that you're not, they're not going to give that to anybody yeah. that walks past like us. So you can see it in there, the fire pit in the middle. Very much like what we saw in um, Davy Crockett's ranch, wasn't it, in Paris. Yeah. Right, we've just arrived at the Yacht Club and uh, Lee's pointed out this, Hurricane Hannah's. Outdoor, outdoor um, it's just a bar there around the, uh, the resort pool. Are we going to go inside and have a look? At the hotel. I think we may have done, but not had a proper explore. Let's go and have a mooch. So we cut through the pool area rather than walking round. Ooh, cruise cup. See, that's the problem when you look for bars on the Disney Experience app. You can't find bars, you can just find dining. It's got a lot. Go on then. You might need a reservation. So this is the uh, the bar. So it's not just food, although they are doing it open that window there. I'm sure you can just come here for drinks. We were going to do, but Lee's bolted. Right, so here's the lobby. Now, I do think we have been in here very briefly can't before. You know what's missing? What? The smell. Yeah, it's not, not smell. much of a smell, is there? It's usually it's not in the Disney lobby. So, so there is a little bit of land behind us, yeah. but that's obviously for people that are dining that's there. That's a big globe. We're going to go down there, see what's down there. Yeah. Right, we found a map. We've got a convention centre here. <laughs> um, so these are all the sh resort shopping and dining. It's quite a lot, actually. I think these four are the kind of the main lounge. That one's outside. 
crew cut. That was behind That's the us. one we've just seen. Yeah, that's the one I went in and there was like, it's all dark. This one sounds quite nice. Unwind and relax by the fireplace in the sophisticated space where classic cocktails are the star. Sounds just up my street. Find it for us. On a search for the uh, lounge, we'll just have a quick look in the uh, marketplace. Well, we know it's not in here, but this is just... No, no, it's not in here, but we're just going to have a look in the lounge, at uh, the marketplace, shall I say. Oh, they have wine. Disney, I'm proud. <laughs> Let's have a look how much the wine is. Oh, not bad. $24. For a pin and one out. That's not bad. $19 for white. You know, if we were staying here, I'd get one of them. Yeah. Just sit in that chair that we were just sat in. Parker Station. Parker Park Station. I wonder if it's one of these ones for $24. One of these little Maybe. things. So you've got your coffee station, your tea station, Ooh, Nestle rich chocolate. Mickey bars. Mickey bars, Hagen dazs Get them from Walmart, they're a lot cheaper as you saw. Pastries and cookies, oh that does look good. Look at all those chocolate chips on that cookie. Blueberry muffins, cereals and things like that. If you're staying here, you can take it all to your room. You can buy it if you're not staying here obviously, but uh, we don't want anything. Right, let's go find this lounge. Come on. Right, here's the lounge, Ale and Compass Lounge, straight off from the um, reception lobby. Get that out of the frame. That's where we are, the Ale and Compass Lounge. We're just perusing the menu, the cocktails and wines and beers, and then a few snacks. And of course you're hungry about two hours after you've eaten. So yes, as Lee said, we're in the Ale and Compass Lounge. We've never been in here before, we've never explored this hotel before. And it so reminds me of Newport Bay in Paris. Yeah, a little bit, but this, the seating's not as comfy as Newport Bay. No, it's not. But I like the ambiance and the, the, the darkness. Yeah. Just over yes. there is a fire. There is a fire, but the high, kind of half, half high top chairs and no, no like comfy sofas. So we wanted to just sit here, so we've commandeered this kind of couch. Yeah. Um, Orange cushions. Yeah, so I might have, a, have a, no, an alcoholic drink now. Just show you some of the prices. So cocktails are around $15-ish. Um, and then classic cocktails there. Featured spirits, uh, wines, champagne, beers, which aren't too bad, $8 for a Bud Light. Uh, and then on the back, we have non-alcoholic cocktails and some uh, food. Nick's moaning at the tables and the chairs. It's just, I feel like I'm on a bench, like in a church or something like that. It it's, needs, I need you in front of me so I don't have to keep turning to look at you. He's just said he can't get intimate on these chairs, so we're not getting intimate with me, not in Disney. I don't want to get intimate with you. Cheers. Right, I enjoyed that. It could do with some more nicer um, seats. Seats, but I did. I, we always like finding a little new um, cozy, cozy bar. lounge, dingy light, Disney. yeah, coziness. Although it wasn't cold. The the the, um, the sofas were nice, but they were all kind of like pews facing each other. Yeah. So we're going to head back towards Hollywood Studios now. We're not going to get the Skyliner because it takes another half an hour. We're not going to get the boat. We're going to walk. No, you can get a boat from here, but we're going to walk. Um, so we'll show you the walk along the way. And if you fancy doing a pontoon. This is where you get them from. You're here. not going to get very far though. Um, although I do kind of feel like it's not that big to do pontooning on here. Well, you can probably get as far as Hollywood Studios as well. Yeah. So we do fancy doing a pontoon when the when the folks come over, um, but probably on Seven Seas Lagoon like we've done before. Um, we we do like doing that, don't we? I mean, this this area, if you go to like. The International Gateway, Epcot, and Hollywood Studio. That's as far as you can get on this this area, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Which so, is very limited. Yeah. Right. So we're walking this way past the Swan and Dolphin. What a lovely evening on Boardwalk, and it's so quiet tonight as well. Bless you. <laughs> it's so quiet. I mean, it looks a little bit busier over there, but uh, around here, there's just nobody. It is getting a little bit cold, actually. Nippy. Not cold, but yeah, a little bit Nippy. breezy. There's the boat coming back from Hollywood Studios, I think. So that's like the official entrance to Boardwalk. Really? Well, what, what gives that away? Show me. Uh, but we're just walking across here over to the Swan. Might just look, have a little mooch into the Swan. I don't think we've ever been in the Swan. No, we've done the Been dolphin. in the Dolphin. Look how big it is, it's massive. And um, we've got a nice bar inside the lobby. Um, and then... That restaurant that's sticking out with like white back Restaurant? Tables. Where? Above the bowl. Up there? Yeah. I don't know. Looks like it, doesn't it? This is, I think, is where we got the boat to Hollywood Studios. Sure, we got it to Hollywood Studios with uh, Lisa and Aid and Josh and Wendy. 
Um, how but, can you do that when it don't go anywhere? I don't know, but I remember getting on a boat here. And then I think it goes down there. We're going wrong here. Oh, yeah. We'll go down there to get we to Hollywood Studios. Are we going to the Swan or what then? Bad mooch. Right, here we are in the Swan and it's got a very nice smell in uh, here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? A nice swanky bar. I can't... What does it say? Trattoria. Il Molino. New York bar. Oh, yes, I do like the look of that. It's got like pizza wood burners and stuff at the back. Yeah, they do the pizzas, apparently. So it's an Italian. Yes. Ooh, oh, look at these seats as well. Ooh. <laughs> we should have come here, that's much more comfy. Oh, we should have done. Screw ale and comfort. Let's have a little look on the menu. Right, let's have a sit down there. Bye. I know, but somebody will come. Well, then we'll just have a look at the menu. It's wines and specialty cocktails and beers again. Nice little fountain outside. Yeah, let's have a look outside. This like looks quite nice. Yard. All the trees are lit up, so that'll look nice on an evening. I do like this. Bit of a quick serve coffee shop here. Uh, oh, actually, you could get your coffee, yeah, and then Ooh. just. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look how cozy these look. I'm sorry, but we need five minutes. I'm making lists of cozy places <laughs> to go and visit. Let's you could get coffee. a little coffee from over there in Java, coffee eats and sweets and then just chill at these. You want some tea? No. So this is like your marketplace in the uh, Disney hotel. It's got a little bottle of Pinot Noir, like a half a bottle. Yeah, that'll be the one that we're 24 yeah, in. Yeah, probably. probably. And uh, then you've got Spaces, your... Uh, chips. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, sandwiches, fruits, salads. Perfect. Yeah. Disney planning centre and gifts. So I think they're classed as partner hotels, these Disney partner hotels, possibly. And um, lots of hundred um, merch. Beauty and Where? Plain. Ah. Mm -hmm. Nice little shop for all your things. Hand dis soap hand dispensers, $8 here as well. Right, so that's where we are at the moment, we're in the Swan. So the walking path, walking path to uh, Hollywood Studios is down there, which we're going to go it's back over the And then bridge. the walking path back to Epcot is around Boardwalk. Yeah, remember now, that's where the boat takes you from the Swan and Dolphin to um, Hollywood Studios. You get off there at that little pier there, and then you're straight out onto Hollywood Studios. Right, I'm getting to wish I'd have got that bloody boat now. My feet are killing me. It's been a very long day for us so far, and it's not over yet because we've decided that we are going to go back into Hollywood Studios and watch Fantasmic. And the wait times right now are really low, so 15 minutes for um, start, to start to us. And then hopefully, once we've been into Fantasmic, if there's enough time before the park shuts at 10, we can do the twilight riding like we did when we came with Lisa and Aid, and we went around all the major rides and did them all in about 30 minutes. So, uh, if we can just do Star Tours and Phantasmic, I'll be happy with that. We'll have to put the stuff back in. Oh yeah, we'll have to get us coats. Get us coats because it's a bit nippy. We forgot to take note of the car bay that we're in. I remembered. You haven't got there yet. So Lisa's 401 buzz. Nothing's happening. We've been walking for 10 minutes. Down here, definitely. We're going to move the car closer to the front entrance. There's a lot of people that's left. So there's a lot of spaces free, so we're going to move it so we don't have to walk all this way when we're finishing the park tonight. Right, we're back in the park. It's a bit blue and we are heading around to Fantasmic. It's about half an hour to go. Well, it's been tinkling, so we haven't had time to go to uh, Star Tours yet. It's got a lot of water in that yacht club. Uh, so we're going round to um, Fantasmic, which, which we've not seen. 40 minute seat. I don't think we've seen it since, since 2019. Uh, did we see it with the kids? Uh, no, I don't think no, so. No, we saw it in March 19, didn't we? Yeah.
orgasmic uh, about five minutes before the end of the show so we could get out in front of 7,000 people who are now currently trundling behind us. Yeah, so the park's slightly quieter now because 7,000 people in there. This way. Um, we're going to go to Rise, see if we can get on it before the park closes and then head home. What about Start to us? Awesome toast. No, it's only showing five minutes for Start to us. Rise, that's all I want to do. Ready for my bed now. Fucking ghost town. <laughs> 10 minutes for Start to us. But I think I want toast more than I want Start to us. My feet are hurting. Hardly anybody on.
catch you outside the wreck. <laughs> that was insane. I there do was, love that there was, ride. There was at least six empty cars spinning round with yeah. in the first room as well. No, well, that's we always say, try, if you can stay in the parks late and go to rise. Do not late. listen to what the standby times say because we know that it's bullshit. We've done it like in so many rides, like Flight yeah. of Passage. There were like six people on yeah, six people with us. Uh, so that was really good and I really, really enjoyed it. It was one of those times where I just thought, brilliant. Right, let's get out of the park. Five minutes for start to us, but I've had enough now. My feet, uh, my feet can't take five minutes more. It's literally like we've been let in after hours, innit? There's some projection show going up there, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Well, I can hear Mickey. Well, look at that. We're literally walking past Primetime Cafe. There's four people. So earlier on, when we went for our hoodies, we actually moved the car. We moved it from 4.11 to 3.01 or something like that. Still so we've literally, like a long way. we've literally got like half the distance to walk now. So uh, when we get back, I'm just gonna take my shoes off and lay on that bed. Let them unsteam. Oh yeah, they'll be steaming. So much for moving the car. We've done it again. <laughs> we can't find the bleeding car. Well, you, I say it's 301, you say it's 306. I think we're it's on about 306. No, I think we're further down. Oh, no, I'm, did I just not, hear it? I'm not pushing it. Uh, give me here, give me here. You can do it as much as you want, you're not going to find it when you're at wrong roll. It's not a very good um, detector, this one. It's a lot further back. <laughs> oh, yeah, then. 306, as I said. And yet we were looking for it elsewhere. Right, we're on, the, on our way back to the hotel. Um, I forgot to say it when we were just doing the update when we came out from the ride. The disappointing thing is only once ever have we been on that ride where the guns have actually properly worked. Mile, merge onto West Osceola Parkway. Where the guns have actually properly worked and Kylo Ren, uh, there's a hull breach and there's loads of like wind. Ever since after COVID, that's all kind of changed. Changed, they've stopped it, haven't they? Yeah. And uh, when we were on Millennium Falcon the other day, the uh, Smuggler's Run, the animation in the room that we were in still wasn't working again. I think it works in one of the rooms, but not the other. For some reason, Disney aren't fixing it. It's still a good ride, though. It's still a it's very, very good ride. Brilliant. The Express Cafe is still open. Old Town celebration in full swing. Anybody on top of the Vomitron? And us nanas are off the bed. Hey, um, it's uh, 10 o'clock. It's quite oh, late. Oh, it's 10 o'clock, everybody. 10 o'clock. No, there's nobody on the Vomitron. Right, get us a parking space. <sighs> no, no, block friggin' thing off at block, off at turn <laughs> bridge, why don't you? When are we gonna eat these coconut yogurts that we've got? Get one now. Well, I might have actually. Oh, well, I have one too. I'm having a peanut butter, a slice of toast of peanut butter, I might have a, uh, one of these yogurts that we got. They're amazing yogurts. Um, I thought the boxes. Value pack of four. Chabo brand, I think. Chobani. Chobani. They are amazing. They're literally there's more coconut than there is yogurt. Which I'm for a there's breakfast as well. I love breakfast. Um, so, hope you've enjoyed our day today. Really feet. enjoyed our feet. I didn't enjoy it. Really, I think we've done about 17,000 steps. Um, really enjoyed our sci fi diner. Really enjoyed that. Nick wasn't keen on the food, but I really liked it. Really liked it. The whole setting and everything. Theming was top notch. Yeah, theming was top food notch. Food was. Not, not. Rise of the Resistance, amazing. Um, it, it felt weird because there were nobody on it. It was like, yeah. it's like we were on testing it. And everything else was really good too. So, drop us a comment below guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell and um, hit the subscribe button if you are new around here. Um, hello to all the people that said hello to us today. Um, it's always nice to see, meet you guys in the parks and everyone's always lovely. And um, just hello to everyone. I'm doing this to get the wind, to get the fizz out of it so it doesn't pull me up. We'll see you on the next video. Uh, well, we're not sure what we're doing yet, but we'll be up to something in Florida. And it's only a few days before my parents come. So we've got lots of stuff we're going to do with those guys as well. So we'll see you on the next video.